liberal arts education is something very very personal to me simply because uh, you know when i was uh, finishing high school you know i had a choice between i had gotten to iit and i had gotten to st stephen's college to study economics and i took the unusual step of not going to iit and uh, you know uh, today when i look back i find that the system is mostly broken uh there are you know there are various vicious circles of mediocrity you know whether it is uh, the government uh, the state subsidized system where you have got unionized teachers you have uh, highly subsidized uh, uh, you know and across the board subsidies to rich students uh, and you have ossified bureaucracies curricula are changing and old uh, you know old institutions and then you have the private colleges where which really are not focusing on liberal arts they are focusing more on management they are focusing on law they are focusing on engineering so really this whole liberal arts and social sciences and pure sciences space is is kind of vacant and you on the other side you see demand burgeoning uh, with uh, students who are getting 97% or 96% or 95% not able to get uh, admissions uh, in in high quality institutions this is something i really felt strongly about and as my as my children grew older and my daughter who's now in in got to college uh, when i was researching educational institutions for her admission i learned the difference between the indian system and what happens in the us where in india you choose a subject and stay with it uh, whereas in the us you get width multidisciplinary education for 2 years and then you choose your major you're making a much more informed choice and then you graduate so uh, so to my mind multidisciplinary uh, education with 2 years of width and 2 years of majoring made a lot of sense class parents will tell their children uh, do engineering do medicine because you know you are looking for safety security a assured job a professional skill and and i felt this was wrong and i felt this was happening because there weren't enough quality educational institutions in india offering a choice and ashoka to my mind will offer a choice uh, to the brightest students who uh, want to explore other other avenues and at the same time those who choose to do engineering other subjects and subsequently want to broaden their horizons uh, after after the first degree we have the we have the yif which is a one year program a liberal education has tremendous value uh, if you are not sure what you want to do eventually uh, whereas a professional education has a great value if you are reasonably sure that you want to if you want to be a doctor study medicine if you want to work as an engineer study engineering Uh, but the truth is, in India, uh, the engineering that we study depends on the rank that we get in the entrance exam, and not on what we want to do. Now, a liberal education, on the other hand, is it gives you perspective, it gives you width, and then it gives you depth. My highest order goal is that we will evolve a new model for college education in India, and others will copy us. And we would want them to copy us. We let them copy us. We open our system because actually, India needs a thousand colleges like Ashoka.